Hello Bakers! This week I'm making uh, buckwheat, sesame and chocolate cookies by Benjamina, I want to say Ebby I always get her name wrong, I'm so sorry. Uh, but first up it's some unsalted butter into a bowl, <laughs> solid funk. Caster sugar. And light brown sugar. And then that goes into the stand mixer until pale and creamy. And while that's uh, mixing together, I'm going to mix together my dry ingredients. First up, it's buckwheat flour, uh, which would actually make the recipe gluten free as long as you use um, gluten free oats later on. So it's quite nice, nice to use a different flour. Then cocoa powder and some rolled oats or jumbo oats, the nice kind of chunky ones. So yeah, if you use those as um, gluten-free, then the whole recipe is gluten-free. And then some bicarbonate of soda and some salt. I've obviously used a too small bowl, but <laughs> a bit of gentle mixing and try and gently mix it all together as best as I can. Some on the surface, but you know, it is what it is. So just put that to one side. So that's been beaten for a few minutes. It's a bit paler, a bit creamier. So now we add the egg. And then that gets beaten again. So that's had about a minute. And then this gets added. I mean, it's fairly okay mixed. And then it goes back in the mixer. She says until just combined. So I'd say that's about right, there's still a few flecks here and there. Give it a bit of a scraper on the sides. And then add 100 grams of milk chocolate. I've got dark chocolate. Um, and I've just given it a big old whack, so I might need a bit more chopping. Let's see. I think that's all right. A few extra chunky bits, but that one as we go. Just because I was lazy and I couldn't be asked to chop it, so <laughs> I smashed it with a rolling pin, which is also very satisfying. And then give that a bit of a mix together. It's quite firm dough. You have to use some arm power, a bit of muscle power to give it a bit of a stir together. Right, and then it goes in the fridge for 20 minutes. So I tried to put it in the fridge, but there was no room. So I'm just getting straight on to the next step, uh, which is putting some sesame seeds into a bowl. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty cold here. So hopefully it's not gonna suffer too much by being refrigerated or not being refrigerated. And then it's taking a scoop and I think doing a ball and then into the, I, think I might do about, what do you think, six on a sheet? I don't know if I could be asked to roll them all. I might just pop straight in. Oh, it's a sticky. Sticky cookie dough. So I've done six, all kind of spaced out. She says they might spread a bit, so give them room. And then they go in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. So they're fresh out of the oven. She says until the edges are set, but the middle's still a bit soft, which I think that's about right. So the edges look a little bit drier. And the middles are still maybe a bit gooey. So it's to cool down on here for a few minutes and then I'll move it to the wire rack to cool completely. Okay, so they've cooled down. Uh, my boyfriend nicked one. <laughs> so he said it was good, but I've not tried it. The whole um, mixture made 11. She said make 12, so I've obviously 
scooped them a bit big and also um as you can see they spread really nicely but i presume they're meant to be a bit more compact because they're meant to go in the fridge but let's have a look seem kind of nice i don't think i've had buckwheat cookies before so i'm interested to see the flavor mm. that's delicious really really nice it's kind of really chewy around the outside it's got the lovely sesame taste and then it's kind of rich nutty can you hear the sesame seeds falling off? <laughs> Rich kind of nutty chocolate flavour, really good. Mmm, they're delicious. I mean, it's pretty much like a normal, normal-ish chocolate cookie, but it's got this kind of chewy... Mmm, I'm trying to put my finger on what it is. It's very good. Mmm, highly recommend. I like that very much. So, I hope you enjoyed this week, and I'll see you next time.